Gun Talk. Brought to you by Sturm Ruger and Company. And by Glock. At the Watermaker Arms Show in Tulsa, the largest gun show in the world, you can find guns selling from a hundred bucks to a quarter million. You also can sell your gun there. Contrary to the myth of a gun show loophole, gun shows operate under the same laws as everywhere else. Yeah, the laws still apply here whether you're in a gun show or in a gun shop. Yeah, if you buy a, a firearm from a dealer, you have to fill out the form. They call in and do the instant check. And if you pass the check, you fill out the paperwork, you register the gun, and then you can take it, but only then. With the selling, buying, and trading of used guns, the question most asked is, what's it worth? The man who is most often asked, and who knows, is Steve Fiesta, publisher of the Blue Book of Gun Values. If you want the inside story on this show, just follow Steve around. So what do we got here today? We have a um, Model 95 and a 306 caliber. It's a takedown model with the uh, shotgun butt. You know, when you first look at this gun, I don't know if the viewers can see this, but you're thinking, well, you know, what's all this wear on this side of the gun? You know, why is it worn here? And if you look at this side of the gun, it's worn here. But then look at the angled portion of the frame and the top of the bolt, they look brand new. What happened on this gun? Well, what happened is that in this period, this gun was made in 1912. This gun's a 30-06, and the metallurgy combined with the bluing flake. The bluing flaked off these guns. And this gun, look at the barrel, how nice it is. Look at the stock varnish, the forearm finish. All this stuff is just the way you want it to look. So. On a gun like this, even though it's probably going to be like, you know, 60% condition overall, it's almost unfired. The bore is brand new, and this gun is worth a lot more money than a gun that normally has been worn in hunting or something like that. So a gun like this, $3,500 probably in today's marketplace. If this gun had normal wear, then you'd see a lot more wear in the stock, you'd see a lot more wear in the forearm, and you'd probably be down to twenty-two fifty in a hurry. Although the show opens to the public on Saturday, some say the real deals take place on Friday, Setup Day. Setup Day at the Tulsa Gun Show always starts out on Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning. You have an early entry pass. These are all dealers in here. Some advanced collectors also, they can set up, because there's a lot of dealers and collectors who both compete for merchandise. This is where most of the business occurs at the Tulsa Gun Show. It's not Saturday, it's not Sunday, it's Friday. It's important to know what you're doing. Two guns which look almost alike can have vastly different prices. What's the price on this gun? 16000 What's the price on this gun? This gun is probably about a $3,500 gun. $3,000 So, how does the buyer make a smart purchase? I think the first thing that people have to do before they even come to a gun show is do the research. And they have to specialize in something. You can't be a master of every shotgun or of every rifle or of, you see a lot of people that sell old cartridges and shells. I would, if it were me starting off, I would specialize in just one thing, maybe a Winchester Model 42, maybe a Parker Reproduction, and go online and see if there's any information out there available, and then just learn one type or one style or one brand of gun or one model of gun, and then pretty much expand upon that. Gun collectors often are amateur historians. It's not just the guns which grab their attention. I got this about 12 years ago in a barn in South Carolina, and I've had it for about 12 years. Did you get the lock and everything? No, the uh, lock I think is not original, but I believe the box was, but that, the, even if that's a non-original lock, it sure adds to it. Now what's the uh, um, time period do you think on your I would say part? between 1870s, 1880s. It's marked inside. Is it? Yeah. Were they all marked inside? Uh, I don't know. Is this thing all original? I think it is. It sure looks like it. Look, look back here, look at the back and the finish. You can't fake that. 
I don't think you could. So what do we have for value here or something I'm, like that? I'm going to ask five. It may be worth ten. I mean, who knows? You think it's an auction item, maybe? Yeah, anything. Any awesome. auction company can buy it for five thousand, right? <laughs> yeah, if you're interested, <laughs> why give not? Me five and take it to the auction house. It might go for ten. That's right. <laughs> Coming up, little guns that bring big prices. Who's, Who's your, your customer? customer? People that have a slight genetic defect. <laughs> and as always, it's about the stories. And what's the story on this gun? That sat in my shop for about 15 years in a box. Just in a box. box. A pile of parts. I've never experienced anything like this in my entire life. I have to sell you a gun. <laughs>